in the previous module we have learned about the fuels now in this module we have we will learn about the fossil fuels obtained of coal and petroleum fossil fuels are formed from the buried remain of plants and animals over a period of millions of years coal petroleum and natural gas are examples of fossil fuels let us discuss about each of the fossil fuel and their limitations in detail coal is generally black or brownish black in color depending on its carbon contents it can be divided into three main types first is anthracite it has a carbon content around 86% or higher and it is mainly used for heating purpose second is bituminous coal it has a carbon content of around 70 to 86% and is mainly used for power generation and for manufacturing another fuel called coke third one is lignite it has a carbon content of around 60 to 70% and is regarded as the lowest grade of coal it is mainly used for power generation as you know coal was formed from the remains of plant that grew in warm humid swamps 300 to 400 million years ago these plant died and their remains got buried in the swampy soil over time these remains were covered with layers of sediment such as mud and sand in low oxygen condition the buried plant material formed a dark brown material called peat gradually more and more sediments got deposited over peat peat was compressed between layers of sediment and form lignite further compression resulted in the formation of bituminous coal even further compression resulted in the formation of anthracite while obtaining coal some by products are also formed that are so much useful these are coke coal tar and coal gas firstly we can talk about coke it is hard dry fuel produced by heating bituminous coal to a very high temperature in the absence of air coke has a high carbon content and is used as a fuel in steel manufacture second by product is coal tar it is a thick black opaque fluid obtained as a by product of the process of manufacturing coke it is used in anti dandruff shampoos ointments sh soaps perfumes it is also used for surfacing roads and also a source for different aromatic compounds the third by product is coal gas it is a gaseous fuel obtained as a by product of the process of manufacturing coke before the development of natural gas supplies it was used as domestic and lightning fuel next fossil fuel is petroleum petroleum or crude coal it is a complex mixture of solid liquid and gaseous hydrocarbons petroleum and natural gas were formed from the remain of tiny marine organisms that died millions of years ago in the first step tiny marine organisms died and settled on the ocean floor over time this layer of dead organisms was covered beneath sediments enormous heat and pressure transform these remains to petroleum and natural gas rising through porous rocks such as sandstone petroleum and natural gas reached a layer of impermeable rock and were trapped below it so after digging the earth the fossil fuel that comes directly from the earth's crust is one of the most important substances in the world and it is known as the crude oil crude oil is a complex mixture of hundreds of compounds 
These compounds are also known as hydrocarbons. Now before we get to learn about the different kind of compounds, let us know that crude oil contains one substance known as petroleum. Now what exactly do we mean by petroleum? Petroleum is derived from a Latin word known as petra rock or oleum oil which is also known as crude oil. It is a naturally occurring toxic flammable liquid consisting of a complex mixture of hydrocarbons of various molecular weight and other organic compounds. It is recovered mostly through oil drilling. It is refined and separated most easily by boiling into a large number of consumer products. Now before we get to know how petroleum is separated, let us know what is in hydrocarbon. The hydrocarbons that make up the petroleum are the simplest type of organic substances made up of only hydrogen and carbon atoms like kerosene and other natural gases. Now while differentiating or while separating the petroleum we need a process called fractional distillation. Now what exactly do we mean by fractional distillation? Well, fractional distillation is the breaking down of a mixture into its component parts. It is done by boiling and separating the products by varying the boiling points of the mixture. Now let us understand the different parts of a fractional distillation uh, substance and how at each level there is a difference in the boiling point and with the difference in the boiling point the name of the liquid changes so children here in the picture you can notice that each part of the furnace is divided into different forms of colors so as to be uh, very much sure that you do not get confused let us start from the below below the furnace is attached a boiler which consists of a crude oil here the crude oil is entered which then is boiled now with the boiling process the crude oil turns into the vapor now each vapor starts getting uh, lighter and rising up in the furnace along with the rise in the furnace of the uh, boiling point each uh, part of the fractional distillation tube is getting condensed with the difference in the temperature for example below 350 degrees centigrade we uh, get bitumen above 350 degrees centigrade we get lubricating oil and above 300 degrees centigrade we get fuel that is used in buses and cars in above 200 to 250 degrees centigrade we get diesel above 180 to 220 degrees centigrade we get paraffins in above 60 to 180 degree centigrade we get naphthalia and above 25 to 60 degree centigrade we get gasoline and finally at exactly 25 degrees centigrade we get petroleum gas that we use in our day to day life so fractional distillation is a very lengthy process but together we are going to get a lot of that we can use in our day to day life as LPG gas, petroleum products, car gasoline, jet fuels, diesel fuels, lubricators, bunkers fuels or boiler asphalt or the uh, that is used for smoothening the roads so children now let us move to the next part of our chapter that is limitations of fossil fuels now limitations also means disadvantages like other energies fossil fuels also have few disadvantages like it creates a lot of pollution fossil fuels also create a huge amount of smoke when burnt it causes destruction of huge places because of their mining they are finite energy that means they have a limited production like coal and petroleum they are not at all environmental friendly not only this their prices are really high they cause acid rain and they are hazardous for human health and as we already know that is it is 
a limited production non renewable resource so we cannot rely on it for complete uh, for other further use even we cannot rely on it for our future generations now some of such main air pollutants and their harmful effects are carbon monoxide which is a colorless odorless and tasteless gas produced in complete combustion of fossil fuels and its exposure may cause head attack dizziness and even to coma and death second carbon dioxide level in the atmosphere increases due to which there can be global warming the increase of average global temperature that causes the melting of polar ice caps and submerging of the coastal areas third the oxides of sulfur and nitrogen are released when coal is burnt which use such as petrol and diesel also release nitrogen oxides now each of them may bring acid rain and damage plants aquatic life soil and building burning of fossil fuels not only bring out this kind of harmful toxic gases but also emits a lot of soot particles in the air due to the incomplete combustion of wood and the fossil fuels such as coal and petroleum now this can enter our bodies and can trigger very uh, dangerous diseases in us such as asthma coughing and other respiratory problems so children before it becomes too late for us to save our environment let us start conserving our fossil fuels and help us to develop a better future not only for ourselves but also for our future generations now let us understand the few steps small small steps in our day to day life where we can uh, conserve fossil fuels and energy for our future generations to conserve the fossil fuels or to save our planet there are few steps that we need to do we can stop wasting of energy and convert our uses of energy to alternative energy sources such as wind energy nuclear energy etc we can reduce the consumptions of our fossil fuels in our transport stations uh, and in during cooking we can also save oil that we have uh, left for making fuel for transport and making plastics as we already know that electricity that get produced from the burning of fossil fuels could be already he made from the renewable sources sources one such source is the solar energy so children to make our planet better place to live in we need to act now and save our conserve our fossil fuels for not only us but for our future generations as well so children keep on learning go on seeing the videos understand the chapter properly and still if you have any doubts you can ask through the chats. Up till then, thank you. Stay healthy.